Hey everybody, welcome back. We've been working. Okay, we as in he got the beds full, half full. We're gonna put topsoil, screen topsoil on top of that. And he's he's been really working. The dirt pile is getting smaller. I was thinking about doing some burning and cooking in that pit tonight steaks. Later. What do you think? If we're allowed. I think we are. Still under a ban yet. Oh, uh, well, we're... May 31st, I think it is. Oh. Well, I want to cook steaks in that thing. We'll have to look that up. Don't want to get arrested now, do we? And now we are heading around back to figure out something that my husband wants to figure out. I'm not sure quite what it is yet, but we're going to figure it out. Oh, we're going to plan on where we're going to put these boxes. She's got these boxes yet to fill. I think what we're going to do is move stuff on the deck and keep them on the deck. What do you think? I'm thinking so. Okay. I'm going to take some of that fill dirt out there and put in the bottom of it to take up some of that space. Yeah. And then when we get topsoil, I add some topsoil into that too. Okay. Some potting soil and right. peat moss or whatever. So I think the plan is check the grapevine. Still too early for that to start. I think we're going to move the pallet furniture down there. I think that's what you wanted to do, correct? Well, yeah. I'd like to see if it'll fit down on that corner somewhere. We can bring the table over this way. Last year we had the table over there under the shade trees. This year won't be too much shade because we have them all down. Well, the pear trees. Yeah. But then again, I don't think they were meant for shade. They're meant for fruit. Bring so. the table down here, we'll have more room for the table, but down there we can have room for the pellet. Alright, do you... Find out where we'll put, put the flower boxes. Do you just want to move the pallet furniture now? Okay. That's probably, that's probably the best thing to do. Make sure it fits over there first before we start moving anything else and fill it full of dirt and make it harder to move. Alright, well, let's do that. Alright, well, we're going to move this furniture. Wish us luck. Let me just add, it's a beautiful day. It's almost 70 degrees outside. I have a sweatshirt on and I don't need it. And if you hear whining at all behind us is the dog in the window that we won't let outside right now. Well, since I can't pick a thing up, he's designated me the supervisor. So we'll just watch him work. So that poor guy, he's got to move all those pallets down there. And I'm sure he'll make it look nice. I mean, look at, look at he's done to the garden bed. It's awesome. And I don't know if you've seen the video, he made, he made a video himself on how to make the compost worm farm pile, or bin, yeah, bin. He did a quite a good job. All right, we'll, we'll catch back up with you when it's a little closer to being done. He's got it going there pretty good. I think we're gonna just leave it back here. And back here I have flowers that'll come up that are like tall. Like, I don't remember the name of them, but I'll Google a picture of them and maybe put it in. Maybe not, I'm not sure. I might not remember. They're like Lazy Susan, I don't know what they are. Up oh, there he goes. Well, I like it back here. Nice little bit of shade in these trees. Oh, that wow. pear tree is doing pretty good. It has some buds on it. This pear tree yeah, well, doesn't. Get some. It has some, but not a whole bunch. Maybe next year it'll be better. But yes, I like this over here. And then we can move this table right here. We have a big umbrella and chairs and stuff to go around this. We'll put that over here. And then we have to decide where we're going to put those boxes. All right, here's the plan. My, oh, listen, my back hurts. I'm over this back pain. <laughs> well, let me tell you. This is the plan. We're going to put this here. We're going to do it like this. I'll, we'll paint the boxes. 
and then have steps that go up right here so it'll narrow that down a little bit and then we're gonna plant something right here on each side that'll stay green year round and then flowers in in the boxes my husband's pretty brilliant huh he thought of that idea I like it I like it and now when the grapevine vines you know they're big so we can't put anything over there because there's gonna be lots of leaves hanging around there hopefully a lot of grapes one can only hope good job we use these here for these uh, plants whenever they take off. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to put those in there so the wind doesn't blow them away, I hope. Well, I hope that's what you're planting there. I'm planting pretty flowers that don't need to have that ugly green thing. Flowers in there, and then when plants down here, right? You put, you plant over in this one? I might put pretty flowers in that one, too. I'm going to do uh, cucumbers. No, I think we're going to... Cherry tomatoes? Uh -huh. I don't think so. Grandkids love cherry tomatoes. Me, we'll see. I haven't gotten that far in my life yet. Just in case, it's a perfect fit. Yes, perfect. These, I'm gonna use some of these, or make more, for the uh, garden out there in them boxes. Okay. Because the other one's gonna be, the, box, the garden itself is gonna be covered with fence. The boxes won't. So that's where these are coming in handy. To run the beans or whatever you're planting there. Okay. Otherwise, deer get to them before we do. Yeah, we don't want that. Okay, let's go check my cactuses. See how they're doing. My poor little white fence needs, I think, it needs painted this year. Oh, they're doing quite well. They will stand up. They will stand up a little bit more. And they'll get flowers on them, too. I learned a nice lesson about weeding cactuses. Use gloves. Yes. Use gloves. Leather gloves. And every time I try to weed the cactuses without gloves, my husband yells at me because he's the one that has to pick all the stuff out of my hands. Tape works well. If you get cactus stickers in your hand, get, get some duct tape or something. Roll it up in a ball and just keep rolling it all over your hands. It works well. We're getting quite a lot done. We've got the fire going. There it is. I cleaned up. I did a lot of raking over there. Just some of that. And I can't rake anymore, so that other stuff we could just hit with a mower. And then what that is over there is tall grass. The decorative grass over there that we probably should have cut off last year, but we didn't. So I put a lot of it inside of my compost worm bin. I've got this going. I put some paper in here because I know worms like to eat the paper. Is it food grade? No, but I think that'll be okay. And then we're gonna, I'm gonna put some cardboard in here too because the worms, I know like the cardboard, they go, I'll show you what they do. They go in between these little, get a box, get in a box, got a box. In between the cardboard, see how it, it'll break open and it's got the, it's got the tunnels in the cardboard. The worms will go in there. So I'm gonna kind of tear up that cardboard and then eventually we're going to when we get topsoil for the garden we're going to top not top this off totally but we're going to put a lot of dirt in here probably maybe to like the how many boards is there one two three probably to the top of the third board maybe with dirt because i know that i'm going to be putting other stuff in there and i don't want it to really overfill i cut my dog's hair my nephew did shave my dog down some of the dog hair went in there because hair is good for compost and stuff like that. So that's what we've got going today. I think we might cook steaks on there. Maybe. Or eat leftovers. And then tomorrow, my husband might. He's talking about cutting that big branch down. Starting on that. That might be tomorrow's agenda. I don't know. He's going to get a hold of son-in-laws and grandkids and whoever no more than 10 and we've all been quarantined to our home so and we'll keep the six distant feet apart but if it's nice like this tomorrow that's the plan that's the plan now i don't know if you saw these pipes sticking out of the garden area let me see the pipes the white pipes all along there 
they're in both beds if you see those my husband has come up with a way to put fencing around there and keep the deer and hopefully rabbits and whoever else eats our vegetables or wants to eat them out he has a video already started on these and when he completes it I'll uh, post that but he's got a really nifty idea and it's something that I will be able to handle so God bless him well we got quite a bit of work done today yes we did I'm exhausted break time break time I sprayed off the porch because it was full of mud from the dog and he's been moving dirt we've got quite a bit of dirt in the beds now now we just need to get some topsoil top soil. and we'll be done yep all right well give us a thumbs up if you like the video come back for more and we will see you next time Bye. see ya